Welcome back to ATVN. The number four USC women's lacrosse team extended its home field winning streak to 17 this afternoon in a 15-4 win over Boston University. The woman of Troy's offense was led by senior attack Cynthia Del Corre, who scored her eighth career hat trick. Senior midfielder Drew Jackson also tackled on two goals and added an assist. The woman of Troy hosts another East Coast foe, the New Hampshire Wildcats, on Monday. It's rivalry week at Mark Stadium. The number 14 USC men's tennis prepares to square off in a crosstown showdown against the number 13 UCLA Bruins tomorrow afternoon. After a face-off in Virginia last month, the Trojans will get the chance to avenge a 4-3 loss to the Bruins during their cross-country journey. Switching it over to the hardball, the baseball team returns home this week to take on Holy Cross in a three-game series starting Friday. Infielder Lars Newbar discussed how the Trojans are hoping to improve before the weekend's ball games. They're a pretty good team, but uh, I think if we pitch well, we play good defense, and, and we stay within ourselves at the plate, um, I think that can lead to success. Um, so, you know, doing what we can and controlling what we can is, is what's going to uh, win us some ball games. The men's basketball team opens up Pac-12 tournament play tonight against Washington, and Selection Sunday is a little more than a week away. Angel Viscara joins me now to play a game of buy or sell to predict the future of the USC men's basketball team. Awesome. Angel, I'm going to read you a statement, and you are going to decide if it is a buy or a sell. Right. So let's get started. Let's so do it. The first one, USC advances to the semifinals of the Pac-12 tournament. All right, unfortunately, folks, this one is going to be a sell for me. I have the Trojans winning a very winnable game tonight against Washington. The Huskies are without their star player, Mark Fultz. The Trojans have a cupcake first-round matchup, but if they win tonight, they're going to face a tough UCLA team who is on an absolute tear right now, finish their season on a nine-game winning streak, and they're currently third in the nation. So the Trojans will make it to the second round, but not much further. Yeah, UCLA will be hard to beat. My second, USC punches a ticket to the NCAA tournament. All right, this one is an easy buy for me. The Trojans have done more than enough, in my opinion, to make it to the big dance. They do have some ugly moments. Think that Arizona State loss a few weeks ago, but the Trojans have rebounded nicely. They have some big wins, a top 10 UCLA team they beat earlier in the year, and they have some other top opponents that they were able to take down. Exactly, and my final statement, USC wins its first NCAA game since 2009. All right, folks, we got a big time buy right here. The Trojans are, mark my words, going to pick up their first win since 2009 in the NCAA tournament. They are going to be paired likely with an SMU team that they've already beat earlier in the year. So I'm confident in saying USC picks up its first tournament win in eight years. Will definitely be exciting if they do. All right, Angel, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Now transitioning from the collegiate to the professional, the pro sports world is booming with news. Here's some of this week's top stories. The Buss family feud continues after Janie Buss, the younger sister of Lakers owner Jeannie Buss, told ESPN that her brothers are trying to shatter the family trust to sell their interest in the fr franchise. Tony Romo will no longer be a Dallas Cowboy. The team announced this morning that they are releasing the quarterback, who is the franchise's all-time leader in passing yards and touchdowns, by Thursday. And last night, Dallas Mavericks legend Dirk Nowitzki joined the NBA's 30,000-point club. He is the sixth player of all time to hit the milestone. That's it for Pro Sports News. Kaylee and Rachel, back to you guys.